today we will discuss product invariant properties of finite products that is we shall consider all those properties of topological spaces which are preserved under product of finite number of topological spaces in particular today we will discuss compactness and hausdorff Now we shall prove the theorem for compactness, which states that at x t and y v be two topological spaces, then x cross y is compact if and only if x and y are compact. Let us prove this theorem. Let x cross y be compact. Then we have to prove that x and y are compact. As we know that projections pi x and pi y are continuous and on to we have proved also so these are continuous and on to mapping and we also know that continuous image of a compact space is compact so both x and y are continuous images of compact space x cross y so both x and y are Conversely, let x and y be compact spaces. Then we have to prove that x cross y is compact. Since we know that, actually we have proved also that every basic open cover of a topological space has a finite subcover if and only if every open cover of that topological space has a finite subcover. So it suffices to prove that every open basic open cover of x cross y has a finite subcover. So here we take a basic open cover of x cross y and we shall show that there exists a finite subcover of that basic open cover of x cross y. So let C is equal to G lambda cross H lambda. Lambda belongs to capital lambda. Capital term lambda is index set. This be a basic open cover of X cross Y where G lambda belongs to T, H lambda belongs to V for each lambda in capital lambda. We know that since G lambda belongs to T, H lambda belongs to V, so each member of C is a basic open set and so C is a collection of basic open sets which covers X cross Y and so C is a basic open cover of X cross Y. As for E, any X in capital X, the set singleton X cross Y is homeomorphic to Y. And we also know that compactness is a topological property that is homeomorphic image of a compact space is compact and since y is compact and singleton x cross y is a homeomorphic to y so being homeomorphic image of a compact space singleton x cross y is also compact. And singleton x cross y is contained in x cross y and c is an open cover of x cross y that means union of members of c contains x cross y and so union of members of c also contains singleton x cross y so we can say that c is also an open cover of singleton x cross y as singleton x cross y is compact there exists a finite sub collection g lambda i cross h lambda i i is equal to 1 2 up to m n of c which covers singleton x cross y because singleton x cross y is compact so we have a finite sub collection of open cover of singleton x cross y since 
this collection g lambda i cross h lambda i this collection covers singleton x cross y so there must exist some g lambda i's which contain x so let g of x denote the intersection of all those g lambda i's which contain x then g g of x is a non empty set because we are considering those g lambda i's which contain x so their intersection must contain x so g of x is a non empty set and we also note that g of x is inter intersection of finite number of members of t so g of x is a t open set containing x clearly g of x cross y has a finite cover g lambda i cross h lambda i i is equal to 1 2 up to n since this is an open cover for singleton x cross y and since g in, in g lambda i there are some g lambda i's which contains g of x because g of x is obtained by taking intersection of such g lambda i's so this is also an open cover for g of x cross y and this is finite so we have a finite cover for g of x cross y proceeding in this manner for each x belongs to x we get the collection g of x x belongs to x of open sets in x which is an open cover of x because all the elements of x are covered by g x and so um, this is an open cover of x as x is compact there exists a finite sub cover g x j j is equal to 1 2 up to m of g of x such that x belongs to x then the collection g x j cross y j varies from 1 2 up to m is an open cover of x cross y because all the elements of x are covered by g x 1 g x 2 up to g x m and here we are taking cross product with x so this will be an open cover of x cross y and as for each j is equal to 1 2 up to m g x j cross y has a finite cover containing members of c here we have observed that g x cross y has a finite cover containing members of c so for each g x j cross y we have a finite cover containing members of c so if we take union of all those members of c then that will cover whole space x cross y so there exists a finite sub collection of members of c which covers x cross y hence x cross y is compact because we have shown that collection c has a finite sub collection which covers x cross y so x cross y is compact now we will discuss Hausdorffness. So let us prove the theorem for Hausdorffness, which states that let x t and y v be two topological spaces. If x and y are Hausdorff, then x cross y is also Hausdorff. Let us prove this theorem. Let x and y be Hausdorff spaces. Then we have to show that x cross y is let x1 y1 and x2 y2 be two distinct points of x cross y and since these are distinct points of x cross y so x1 is not equal to x2 or y1 is not equal to y2 because if both x1 is equal to x2 and y1 is equal to y2 then these points are not distinct 
so we must have either x1 not equal to i2, x2 or y1 not equal to y2. So let x1 is not equal to x2. As x is housed of, so there exist two t open sets g1, g2 such that x1 belongs to g1, x2 belongs to g2 and g1 intersection g2 is empty set. Then G1 cross Y, G2 cross Y are open sets in X cross Y. Actually, we know that these are basic open sets. So we have two open sets in X cross Y such that X1, Y1 belongs to G1 cross Y and X2, Y2 belongs to G2 cross Y such that G1 intersection Y, G1 cross Y intersection g2 cross y is equal to g1 intersection g2 cross y by set theory we know that and since g1 intersection g2 is phi so here we have phi so we have shown that for any two distinct points x1 y1 x2 y2 in x cross y there exists two disjoint open sets g1 cross y g2 cross y containing those elements. So, space x cross y is housed of. Thank you.